So let's talk about the best advice I can give anyone to avoid getting injured playing pickleball. Guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tony Maritato. I'm a licensed physical therapist here in Middletown, Ohio. And while I am a very new, uh, <laughs> new participant to the sport of pickleball, um, I've been a physical therapist for a lot of years and I've worked with a lot of athletes who are passionate about the sport of pickleball. So probably over my almost two decades of being a physical therapist and private practice owner, if I was to bring like all of my history and knowledge down into three things that will help you prevent injury on the pickleball court. Number one is know your limits. Like that, that's the reality. I've never ever told a patient to stop playing. I've never told a patient to, you know, curb their enthusiasm, but I do say you have to know your limit. You have to know your tolerance. Like how how far can you go how how many matches can you play how many practices in a week can you get in before your body breaks down to the point that you can't recover before the next session and you end up getting injured we don't get stronger we don't get healthier during the workout or practice or games we get stronger healthier more fit during the rest periods between so sometimes if i'm involved in a in a significantly high intensity event, I might need to take two or three days of rest to recover before I go back at it. And I'm not gonna lose anything during that time because my body is becoming stronger and healthier while I'm resting. Uh, we see it in professional sports all the time. The athlete who is overtrained is the athlete that gets injured. It's rarely the athlete that's not strong enough or not fit enough to do what they need to do. It's the one that's overtrained that ends up getting hurt. So know your limits, embrace the recovery period, know that you are getting better during the recovery time. Number two is work on your mobility. Try to stay as mobile as possible. Now I use the word mobility instead of flexibility because mobility is about your ability to move in a controlled uh, way. You, you can be fast, you can be nimble, you can be quick, but it's all about control. It's a combination of range of motion and strength, range of motion and control. Flexibility is just about range of motion. How far can I move my arm? How far can I you know, bend my body? But mobility is what you need for performance. And so anybody who's looking to be a great pickleball player and prevent injury, you wanna work on mobility. And you can do that through stretching, through yoga, through any sort of exercise that you enjoy but you should have a little bit of a dedicated mobility program. You should look for mobility limitations. And while you might have great hip mobility, you might be lacking in shoulder or cervical mobility. And that would be something to focus on and pay attention to. And then the final factor in preventing injuries on the pickleball court would just be to warm yourself up. It seems simple, I know, but the idea is the warm up process in my mind is less about actually raising your body temperature. That's part of it. But it's more about giving yourself a, a kind of pre-flight routine. It's giving yourself a chance to see how is everything moving? How, you know, how's my coordination today? How are my joints feeling? How are my muscles feeling? I know there are days that I wake up. Uh, just the other day I woke up, I you know, was walking down the stairs to get a cup of coffee and I heard my knee clicking every single step down the stairs. It didn't click the day before and it didn't click the day after, but that day it was clicking. And that's something that I wanna pay attention to. Sometimes I get random pains and joints that didn't bother me an hour ago and then all of a sudden you get this kind of sharp pain. It's not anything to be concerned of most of the time but it is something to be aware of. And so you use the warm up routine, whether you do a light jog, a little jump rope, some footwork, your mobility training, uh, you use that warm up routine to just really check all the systems, make sure you're hydrated, make sure you're flexible, make sure your body temperature is increasing and you just feel generally good and ready to perform. So I found that if you follow those three criteria, your, your chances of getting injured on the pickleball court dramatically go down and your chances of enjoyment dramatically go up. So guys, if you have other questions, let me know. I'll catch you on the next video.